Dames and gentlemen, my sister Johan, and welcome back to Calmston. I'm joined by David. Hey guys. So, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly nip out of that field, if I can remember where it is, and get that contract done. Yeah, follow that road, take your second left, then the first left, and follow that road to the end. Follow the road, take first left. Sec well, no, second left. Not the one you pass the next left. Oh, okay. And then after that, you climb the hill, take the first left after that one, and you follow that road around, you're going go and pass all the industrial park. This thing's really slow. It's right. farming, everything's really slow. So I need to basically take this next left, don't I? Yeah, that's what I said, that's what I said to you. You're being my sat nav at the moment. <laughs> One twat nav ready for service. <laughs> <laughs> so then did you just what you just say follow the road? Yeah. No, that's a field. No, follow the road, not the field. Well, this thing only goes 24 mile an hour. Yeah, you still manage to have an accident. You are quite possibly the worst farmer I've ever heard of. Probably am. Ah, but you have heard of me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Captain Jack Sparrow, for that one. Yeah. I discovered one thing we have to be careful of. <laughs> I've just taken the baler back to the farm. And the arms on the baler do catch some of the trees around here if you're not careful. When it's what? folded up. Oh, right, okay. Why's the baler gone? Oh, yeah, ignore me. Because we finished the yeah, baler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ignore you, what do you think I normally do? We know. So, did somebody speak? Funny. Okay, the combine's down the other end of the field. So I'll mosey on down there and we'll uh, get on with the contract. So welcome. Yep. <laughs>
when the vehicle wants to move. That's the build done. That's the contract done. And took your bloody time, and we're freezing to death. So we've uh, been paid for the contract as well. And I guess you want to lift now, do you? Back to Berlin, or are you walking up? I can walk up because I'm at the farm well, anyway, turn the next field you, along. You want to come down, won't you? You want to go back to the house? I'll probably just jump in a tractor or something. You could, you could walk down the road. I could. But I'm lazy. Look, I don't spend millions of pounds on tractors to walk. <laughs> I don't think we've spent millions of pounds. I think we're not so far off, you know. Probably will be. Have we still got? We've still got that vulture on lease, haven't we? Yeah, I'm gonna keep hold of it for a couple more days. Fair enough. I'm hoping we can keep hold of it to the point where we can buy it. Really, well, that would be nice. Double check. Did I? Did you? Did you what? No. Did I not? No. The least, the least to buy mod. Mhm. Mm not yet. Plus, I don't know. Basically, it's a mod that allows you to buy items you've leased, which is like a nicer way of. Did I not activate? It's not giving me the option to unless I haven't got the privileges to buy things right now. No, you should do, you're a fine minder. Right, well then, no you haven't. Well, that screwed that one up. We'll have to do it next time, I'll do it next time. Mm, okay. I might as well take this. What's with the venison? <laughs> <laughs> you just nearly get deered. Buy like six of them. <laughs> Bloody hell. And them coming at you at the dark is pretty scary. You down Are you there. not coming back to the house? No, I'm just gonna I'm head up to the field. I thought yeah, because I can skip time without you being down here, can I? You'd just sleep in the kabota or something. Yeah, I'll just make my bed in the kabota. <laughs> well wow, that them lights are bright. <laughs> yeah, I'll make my bed in the kabota. <laughs> I find him sleeping on a bale. There's a telehandler in the used vehicles, but I'm pretty sure we've already got one. It's actually the electric telehandler. I thought it was a noisy night. <laughs> Sat here. What have you done? But the new Holland was running all night. Well, at least it'll be nice and warmed up and ready then. Christ, how many bales? We made a lot. We did make a lot looking at this. It's got a drop on. Yeah, it does. I might as well start, get a start on then. Yeah, because what I'll probably do is I'll go, I'll jump in the, um, jump in the collector. What did we say? We're keeping one trail load and selling the rest. Yeah, can you actually go around and get a trailer load of grass? You want a load of grass bales first. Well, you might as well. But fair just enough. While I'm, because I'm on the left hand side of the field, so you might as well just go on the right hand side and get a trailer full of grass bales. Because we said All we were right. going to keep some, didn't we? No problem. Because we're going to keep, we'll keep a trailer load of. Grass, a trailer, a trailer load of 
silage. Silage bales. And that's, then... that's a lot of Gareth bales. And then I guess we'll just sell the rest of silage bales. Well, let them ferment and sell yeah, them. Once... They're worth a lot more. Yeah, once they're fermented. I mean. I think a full load on this trailer is 28, so... Yeah, it is. By the looks of it, we've got more than 28 on this field. Well, if we if we can get two full loads of... Like, if we can get a full, load, bales. a full load of grass, and then... I think we'll manage that looking at the field. And this isn't one of the... Is this one of the biggest ones we've, we own, fields? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it only became a grass field because I it wasn't a grass field when we took over but I knew we were going to want grass and we were kind of too late in the season to plant anything on this one. Mm. So I thought at least with grass we can get hopefully a couple of cuts off it and then we can always rip it up and put crops back on it at a later date if that's what we want to do. Well, that... That other mo that mower mod I got you to download yeah, real mower. is one that we used to use. I, say, I know we had that on 19, but I don't think it was as necessary on 22. I think it changed the way mowers worked anyway. Yeah, but it did. It's just to get rid of certain maps, don't allow you to get rid of the, weed, like the weeds and stuff. Mm. That's why I got right. it. I, right, I have idea. one full load of grass bales. Okay. I don't know where they're going. Wherever. Where did you put the last lot? I think I put the last lot down by the cows, but we don't really need them there, do we? Because cows don't need pure grass. No. I've got somewhere in mind for them, don't worry. Is it, we not got a sheep enclosure somewhere on this map? No, there is one, but we don't own it right now. Oh, right, yeah, we can't put that down there if we don't own it. Well, we could, but I don't I know where to put them. Don't panic. By the way, if I didn't know what I know now, I'd have been doing the I'd have been doing bloody time lapses easy uh, years ago. <laughs> A lot easier than you thought. Yeah, it's called the control button. Well, I know on Vegas you used to have to you used to pick one of the corners of the um yeah no video oh, yeah. and slide it along. I remember Duke, I used to do it for... All you do, uh, all you do is press control, get on the end of the video, squash it down. Yeah, that was it, yeah. The, I think there was like a, there was like a, one of the corners was like curved slightly, you used to press that one. That was so if, you pull the, if you pull the other side, that's how you would slow things down, you want to do a slow motion of something. Yeah, the slow-mo, you do it the other way. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to do that when I used to mess around with Vegas. Hmm. And there was me asking you the question, do you know how to do it? And you told me no. I obviously didn't understand the question fully then, because... Oh, it has, it has been a while since I did it, so... <laughs> <laughs> We're talking years at this point. Yeah, but... Like I said, now I know how to do it. I've done it with a couple of, like, the convoy videos recently. Mm. Just, you know, just stick some zany music over it and all is good. Hmm. Oh, I've got... Don't worry, i got music planned. Got that planned. We got the moves! We got the I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright really is a bitch sometimes. Eh? I know, I wish I could use that. <laughs> Friggin' brilliant. Let's do it again! We got the moves! We got the moves! <laughs> it's a shame they cancelled that one. It's a shame they uh, cancelled the concert. <laughs> right, so there's one full load of grass bales tucked away in storage. Okay. Until we need to move them down to the sheep. 
Cause yeah. We will be getting cheap. I. Have we got any other grass fields? We have the small grass field in the cow enclosure. Is that it? I believe it's 15 on the map. Is that the only... It's the only one we own right now. I mean, well, bar this one. Yeah. There's a field 10 a grass field, which isn't too big, which could be a good target to work towards if grass is something you're wanting quite a lot of. Don't forget, we still really need to roll this field again. Yeah. Well, we need We need to get the bales off it first. Yeah, I know. Well, we needing... we'll be needing grass. But we need... I mean, here's Gra not... Here's... Grass, is also, grass is also a nice, easy money spinner. Yeah. So we have a few more, like, productions and things established. Well, gr It's... I want to bring the donut factory in. Well, that, well, that gets you going to really do sugar beets. I know I'm going to have to do sugar beets. Which, believe me, because I've done it on my uh, department, Hoy Bailer on farm, and... <laughs> as I told you, I think I went a little overboard, but it works. Yeah. I'm not going to go to that extreme. Why don't you want 3.2 million litres of sugar beets? <laughs> well, the other good thing, if you use the processing plant, it does the distribution for you, so it cuts them and then distributes them to the sugar mill automatically, which then distributes them automatically to the donut factory. Mm. Yeah. Well, I've picked up all the ones you've wrapped so far. How many have you got? Fourteen. Oh no, I'd tell you because you did a few lines and started going round, did you? Yeah. I see where you've got now. Well, I've given you enough to sort of pick up. Yeah, I've got to watch at times. I've got to not... Because this autoloader has like a range it picks up from. And I don't think you can specify it just to... Pick up, Pick up one type, so I've got to make sure I don't get too close to any grass bales. Well, that's why I've been trying to sort of... Sort of trying to move them out of the way a bit. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. What have you done? How many have you got? 21. You've run over a bale. Slightly. 22. And how many can you take? 28. Ah, I've gone the wrong way. Wait, if we could see this, folks, is why they put Candy Crush on phones. <laughs> Shit, game. <laughs> I'm not saying it isn't. Would you want to wrap? <laughs> I might take over in a little bit. Drop it. Pick it up. This would have matched it from last time I got the size he's wrong. <laughs> no, because you. You did the. Um, uh, you did the bailing. Mm. You got full load now. No, I can get four more on it yet. Yeah. It'll then do four across the top sideways, if that makes sense. Whoops. Hi. <laughs> Don't crash into the rental. It's put too much steering lock on. You did a Latifi. 
hot. Too much steering lock. Yeah. Oh, has that got them um, thingy strobes? Yeah, it's got it's got um, LED beacon lights rather than uh, traditional. Is that just grass or is that bales down there? Down where? There. Oh, that's just grass. Miss grass. Yeah. <laughs> what are you like now? Just remember the way you swung round that corner so fast with that on the back. <laughs> what do we don't run out of wrapping, innit? Yeah. Have we not got variable? We haven't got the variable colour mod, have we? Oh. Uh... The... <coughs> it's yes. It's a little unrealistic, but it does add a bit of colour and sparkle. It's obviously not activated. Wasn't that only for round balers? No, it worked on that bay, it worked on that wrapper. Uh, I know that because I've used it myself. I'll double, we'll have to double, I'll double track. No, well, uh, yeah, we do have the mod, so obviously we just didn't turn it on on that one. Okay, I'll have to double track. We can, always recon we can always reconfigure it later, it's not a big deal for today. Right, that's me with a full load. So I'll go and drop these into storage. Because I'm guessing the five that five grand leasing cost is just coming out is the Valtro. I'm guessing that's another hour on the it wasn't f No, that was the overnight leasing cost. For some reason the game does that every now and then. If you enter the shop and back out again it um repeats the last message. So our money hasn't changed. Oh right, okay, that's a bit weird. I think it's what we paid at midnight for the Valtra for another day. Oh, okay. I've never seen it. I've, well, mind you, I don't think I've ever noticed it do it. I've seen it do it before because it confused me. I've gone into the shop for summer, come out and it's charged me. Especially when you've had like... I had the sugar beet harvest still on lease, so that freaking thing's like 25 grand. Yeah. You know, the really big one. The... is it the Grim... the Grimmy... Grim... Yeah. Grime. Whatever. Because, yeah, yeah, because obviously when you got three million liters to move, you're not doing them in the, you're not doing them the slow way. You wouldn't do it the other way, but you wouldn't do it the pallet way. <laughs> no. Added it into a modified tipper and then um, straight into the processing plant. <laughs> I thought you might have done it into an auger wagon. Uh, well, but none of them had good. The only ones that have really good capacity are them big mother bins, but because you can't move them, you have to take the harvester to them. Kind of makes it awkward with AI. Have we not got the. Or is that a mod? Or am I thinking of a completely different game? What's that? Uh, Big, massive Australian ones. <laughs> yeah, they're the mother bins. I did try one of them once on an old Elm Creek save, but I didn't realise. And I, I got it up to about 150,000 litres, and then even my 500 horse tractor couldn't move it. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> because it probably weighed about 300 tonnes at that point. But did you have REA on at that point? I did actually, yeah. Which might have been part of the issue. I think the issue was also just how heavy it was. Yeah. Well, I'm on. I I've noticed a certain map that's come back on. A couple of two there's two maps that have come back on now. Well, there's the one I sent you the link to. Which one? Uh, the one we were talking about the other night, and then literally the next day, I sent you the link. What's it called? Oh, was it? Attigan. No, 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 no. The one with Perbeck. Oh shit! Yeah. Didn't go. Need to get that. So 
I kept trying to say, I kept thinking Pelham, and I, know, I knew that was wrong, but the P, because it was a P, it was like... <laughs> I got the achievement unlock of... That's a wrap. <laughs> um... Yeah, Purbeck, where we used to have Bumper. Yeah. And a bloody T90. T90? 4480. No, didn't we have the Massey Ferguson? Oh, the 390T, 390 yeah. 390T, sorry. But... No, uh, Felsbrun's come back on the mod hub. Has it? Yeah. Fails from 22, and they somebody's brought Sobs, the original authors brought Sobs and Oscar back. Well, that was FS17, wasn't it? That was a 19. No, but I'm saying Felsbrun's come back, and so's Sobs, Sobs and Oscar. Sodnowski, yeah. Saying that I love that. Map. Say that was 17, if I remember right. Mm, but that's come back into 22. Nice. I like that map. Are you just dropping off? Or are you back? Oh no, you're back. I'm back. What behind you? I, it took me a while because I had to move some stuff around to make room where I won't want to put these. Right, we. Oh, you, yeah, you've got to obviously put them there to get them ready to sort of take. Yeah, we can't just trace them. For, but I will take one trailer load down to the cow farm. So I say we'll keep one trailer load. Yeah, one trailer load for the cows. Yeah, probably this next one I'll take down there. How many have we got on a minute? Twelve. I really don't know how many bells you created, and it wouldn't have even told me if I'd have had a look. No, because the bell counters don't need to work in multiplayer. Which is a shit. Because it's not even... Like it's just a mod now, because it's it is in the it's in the um, uh, veneer yeah. pack. Yeah. He's a bell counter. Yeah, but we we've got the veneer pack activated. We just haven't got anything. Mm. Yeah, but once it's added to the game from the veneer pack, it works on all balers. So now it works on that. It definitely works on that one we used here. Because I use it in my single player. Yeah, but we've only just added it, added it tonight. Yeah, I know. I mean, we'll have to bail this field again. So it'll probably... We'll probably be able to get a... Maybe get a representation of it. <laughs> I do want to try that round bail though at some point. That self-propelled one? Yeah. Yeah, it does look a fun little thing. I've not done a lot with it. I've not done anything with it yet. <laughs> Tell you what, quite impressed with that phone camera. Hi. Oh, you what was in what I put on... Uh, anything on Facebook. I took a photograph of the moon. Last oh night. yeah, I did. I saw that just before we came online. Yeah, and that was at 30 times zoom on my camera. Yeah. So when I zoomed out, it just does the usual, you know, whole blinding light flare lens and all that crap, where you can't see your shit in thing. <laughs> then I zoomed it right in. It looks pixelated as shit on the phone. Focused yeah. it on the moon, and that's the result. I was quite impressed. Hopefully by next week as well. I uh, should have my should have a Galaxy Watch coming. Another Gal one a new Galaxy Watch. Well, I think they're advertising at the moment that you get one if you buy the flip, aren't they? That's the f yeah, that's the flip. I got the fold. All right. And it doesn't bother me, but I am paying it off a bit. <laughs> Hi. Hi. 
Well, I just, <laughs> I just spent 40 fucking quid today. Oh, I will. You buy now. I had to get a. I had to buy my myself a new mod. Now, for people that don't vape, won't get that term. Ah, oh, right, yeah, I do. I must have been paying. I a think mod. you want for a game? No, no. mod for YouTube? No. A mod okay. basically is it's your battery pack, like your battery for what you put yeah. your tank on. And yeah, my old one went Kasputsky. Alright. Oh, In a nice fashion. Not. Basically, it just kept saying that it can't, couldn't recognise the the tank and the coil that's in the yeah. tank. So it couldn't recognise it, so 40 quid and got a new one. I mean, granted, that was... Yeah. Four or five years old. Four or five years old. Yeah. So they're not expected to. They're not expected to last. It just mm. pissed me off the night it went, because it went on uh, Saturday night. Yeah. So there's me like having to just borrow my mother's mod to put my tank on to still be able to sit here and vape while bloody waiting for the Grand Prix. <laughs> Jesus. Have you got out content coming soon or have you got anything that's coming? Uh, just all I've got at the moment is if I to say I've got some of them highlights. As we said a while ago, I've not been near my my PS4 actually for oh, quite yeah, a while since I the last. That. It was just I just wondered if you had any coming. Soon. I'm planning. I'm planning to. It's just when I get around to like getting them off the PS4 and sorting out what I do with them. We need to get back to GTA. Just, yeah, there's when... one I want to do a little bit of editing work on first. I want to. I've got two separate videos on the PS4. I kind of want to stitch together. Mm. Well, I need. I still need clips of. For Lola, just for the hell mm. of it, that can go in there into that category. Yeah, once it's all edited and had the uh, track put on it, yes, it's gonna get copyrighted, yeah. it's gonna get claimed. But well, don't put it up on the main, main channel. Well, where else am I gonna put it? <laughs> I tell you, it'll only get copyright claimed. But it depends how many clips you're going to give me for that. I need to dig. I need to get my old external. That's got some of my old stuff. Got some of my stuff from when I was recording on it. Mm. There's a lot of stuff on there. Yeah, it's just some good. Because what you have to like a full like length of the music, length of the song, yeah. or do you just want to? Oh no, a length of the length of that song. Ooh, so I'm getting a good four or five minutes. I'll figure some out. Well. I'm full, so I'm disappearing with the next. I'll take this load down and dump it with the cows. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I'll be a little bit longer this time. Oh, it doesn't bother me. It gives me time to wrap because it takes a little bit to wrap oh. each. Note to self: you can't fly through the gate all at 32 miles an hour. <laughs> Make sure my phone volume is down quickly so I can do that. I'd need enough clips to cover about four minutes and twenty-eight. Four minutes and twenty-seven. Yeah, minutes. I was working on about five minutes. Yeah. Well, I've just actually op I opened the song on. You should just have to if you just looked at it on the uh, what's it page. You normally puts the time in the bottom corner. I looked on Spotify. All oh, right. I have it. Have we found because you do that two versions? Which one are you looking at? Lola Montes. Uh, there is two, there is two versions of that song. Is there? Well, I've only got the one you sent me on YouTube. Ah right. It was the one. You, it was the one that you sent me on YouTube. Yeah. The second version of just got a harmonic, a solo in it. Yeah, it doesn't have that in it. But 
but whoever designed this gate's an asshole. I know there was oxygen, David. <laughs> don't, don't worry. I was going to say. The very so the gate opens across the hole. I'm trying to reverse it through, and it's just yeah, not playing ball. I say you know who designed the map. Yeah, I'm glad we're using auto loaders and we haven't gone down the, the old realistic approach. I kind of think these are weird telehandler. We'd have be here till Christmas. No, I'm not specifying which Christmas. We've how much right? So how many trailers loads have you actually had off the field? Two silage, one grass. So that's 28, 56, 76. That's 84 bales by my very quick maths. Well, it's 28 times 3, isn't it? Yeah. 84 bales, yeah. And we're not exactly done. It's 21 wall. If I'm right, if I've counted right, it's about 21 left. So that's 95 bales. Shit in hell. And these were the biggest size that we can wrap. Yeah, I would not like. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have liked any smaller bales. I mean, say unfortunately, we can't wrap any bigger than this. There is one size bigger than the bale. Of well, oh two. yeah, there is one but, size bigger, but you can't wrap them. But the only, the only, the only wrap there is one wrapper that supports them. That goddamn um, one that makes a snake, which I've never seen the point of myself really. One that makes a snake. Yeah, about the Anderson. Is it called? Is it called like the X something? It's the one that basically wraps all the bales together rather than the extra. The Anderson. Yeah, something extra. like that. Yeah. I don't mind that baler. It can be quite handy, especially if you're doing round, if you're doing circle side with bales. I just don't really see the point of wrapping them all together like that. I just, I'm probably missing something obvious, but. Because he, uh... you can't, once you don't, you can't move. So you got to leave them wherever you do it. Yeah, but you can't move until you rip it open. I think what uh... that would be used in like a bale warehouse, you know, in a mm. bale storage place, rather than. You would basically take the you bales would. to it. Yeah. Rather than you... Rather than how we're doing it where you're wrapping them at source. Yeah, you would take the bales to it and wrap it while they're in, it's in storage. Because... That's what I believe that thing's for. I mean, it's a bit... Pointless in game. It's not pointless, but it's it's a bit pointless having it for a mobile wrapper. Yeah. I get it's on wheels because you can move it for moving when doing storage and stuff, but which makes yeah, you sense. Want you, but doing, you wouldn't really be out to the field unless you were willing to leave the bales in the field till you yeah, needed them. Which is something that. Something that some farms do, because I've seen. Oh just, yeah, I've seen a lot of. Depending farmers. on where the storage point is. Yeah, I've seen a lot of farms do it. They leave. But I don't think I've ever seen one in this country using that setup. They're all using individual bells, as far as I can tell. Yeah, it is individual wrappers. 
you walk uh, mainly with Anderson, you'll mainly see that. Mainly, possibly across Europe. Right. Um. I've seen it being done. You might have to watch one of them bales because there is a grass bale still close to it. How late you get? Um, I've seen it been done in the Netherlands. Mm. Because I've seen the monstrous TMR mix that they've got. <laughs> I mean, that thing had. Oh, eight wheels on the uh, eight wheels on the uh, trailing vehicle on the mixer. Fair enough. It was a big beast. <clears throat> I can imagine. Well, he did have to feed nearly a hundred thousand cows. So, how many of you on board? Eighteen. So we know 22, so 96 bales. That's a good haul. If we know we can get that off this field. That is a good haul. That might be worth yeah, yeah. keeping this field. Certainly As... in the early days, because it can be... Um, give me a quick second to look at my charts. Yes, it's time consuming to... Bales. I mean, if we sell the bales in January, which isn't that far away at this point, we're in December now. Hmm. What's the whole? Well, it's, it says the price would be up at 340 for every thousand litres. It's actually at 337 now. Hmm. Now each bale is 6,000 litres, so 340 times. Six. Jesus. So we're looking at a big chunk of change. Looking at possibly somewhere towards 200 grand per every... If we sold all the bales. Yeah, but... There's two trailer loads you're selling. Is well, one and a bit, because we're not going to fill this set. Well, no, but one one and a bit. Because we've, we've, we took one trailer load of grass, don't forget. Yeah, but... Yep. One and eighty percent selling, and one full trailer load has been sent down to the cow barn, ready for. Yeah. Because we have, um, don't forget, next time we could it though, we're going to want a, probably a good amount of hay for TMR and that. So say a bit like we've done this time with some yeah. grass, we'll take some hay bales off it as well. Oh yeah. I think that's just done, is it? Yeah, I can't miss any. I can't see anything, so it's going to be a case of just putting all the equipment back up the good way. That's the problem, I think every tractor's down here, so they're going to be doing some running. <laughs> well, what is down here? The Ford and the Kubota. Hmm. Are you going back to the farm with that? This we, is have like... a we have a workshop on the farm if you want to see if you this... turn random folk colour on. Well, this will be going back to thingy, cows. Won't it? This is going back down to the cows. Yeah. Kidding me, I didn't. Oh, come on. What have you done? Forgot to fold it up before you come through the gate. No. What have you done? Uh, follow me? You're not going to activate it. Damn it. If you put them on the road, cosplay will drive them down into the farmyard. Give me a second then, I've got to move the new Holland. 
I'm gonna bring this. This will be coming into the farm anyways, because I might have a look at the workshop. Right, I'll leave the New Holland on the road a minute because I'm gonna have to go down the cows for that. Yeah. Well, I was going to be a smart ass and get them to follow you, follow me down, and then get you to grab them, mm. or just grab the board out, uh, grab the board, and then reset the Kubota to follow me, so I could have used it to get back instead of having, but. There's no point because I've come back in the tractor. Yeah. So it would have just gone back to the yard. Right. Okay. Right, them two are ready to be brought down. Right now, problem. Where is the workshop on the farm? In there. That furthest end. Oh, right, okay. You'd have to start taking it in because the workshop's in the far corner here. I'm going to have to bring it in. Yeah, I think you have to reverse it. I think you have to try and reverse it in, which could be entertaining. I don't know what the catchment area on the actual workshop is like. We'll find out in a minute. I'm just gonna make sure I... Ah, uh, okay, I wonder why the trailers and all that were outside. Well, I thought that was a good place to put the bales. Just good job you had your wheaties this morning. I don't get why this doesn't the workshop doesn't have a separate door. I'm guessing in real life that barn didn't because don't forget this is actually a lot of this is based on a real farm. Yeah, we do have the the foil colour. We just never we, we never activated it. No, we didn't. Oh, well, we know for next time. What colour do you want? Just set it onto random. Does he not have a thing at the top that says random foil colour? Or yes or no, or on or off? Yeah, random foil colour on. Yeah, well, wait, it's on? No, it was off. It's now on. That's it. Now on, yeah. Just do that, and Lucas, it'll... I like the mod, but to me... Change is a bit too frequent. It's between, something like between every three and ten. Yeah. What I would like to see is it change about every twenty-five to thirty. To me, that would have been really realistic with like a wrap running out. Yeah. If you get what I mean. Yeah. There we go. I have actually looked in the files see if I can figure out how to change that, and I just I. You can't yeah. get right around it. That's not a part of XML editing the time. I can do waste, I can do adding crop types to like cell points and that, but... Did you bring them two back yet? No, no, yet, cause I've, I've just put the bell trailer away and now packed the valve and I'll go up and get him. Oh, okay. Well, this is going back down to the cows, isn't it? Yeah, that lives in one of those sheds. And I think I've gone the wrong bloody way. Yes, I have. Or have I? Have I just gone the back way? Look at the map. Yeah. No, you've gone the right way, that'll take you to it. Yeah, I went the back way though. I went the longer way. I didn't take the usual shortcut. It's course. probably slightly easier though with a good trailer on because it's um, less turn. You really need to shut the doors down here. <laughs> Where does the wrap? Does a raffle live with a windrower? 
Oh, the Vitello, sorry. Whichever one's got a space on it, whichever one's got a space in there. If they've both got a space, then it doesn't matter, just whichever one you can. Well, they both have, but the mowers and Ted are in, are in one. Yeah, and then the other one should have the wind rower and a gap. I think it's in that one. No, the wind rower's not here. Unless, no, we don't own a wind rower, of course, because we have mowers that do it for us. Yeah. And a baler that doesn't really need one, so just... Yeah, yeah I'll, we've... I'll put it in the other one. Yeah. Just like... It's not the end of the world. I'm not implying that things have to be in their exact right place. No, I know. Anyway. It's just... I'd like, you know, I'd like them to... To be... Um, be so at least we know where they are. So this is going in that second shed. Yeah. Is there anything that needs to come up, like, trailer-wise, or anything from down No, here? I don't think so, no, because I took the bell trailer back down there. Um, the only thing that we don't really have on the farm is the fact that our Fiat is currently down at the shop. Whether you whether you want to go and pick that up before we finish, or we leave that there till we either take back or buy the Kubota. The Valtra, sorry. Um... Well, I could always take. I can always t pick you up and take you down there. I was gonna say, oh, lot of vice versa, because I'm coming to bring the Kubota back to the farm. All right. Well, let me bring this. Let me bring the tractor down there. Bring the tra this tractor back, and I'll jump in the Kubota, and then I'll yeah. bring. I'll bring the. Uh... I think we're keeping hold of the Valtra for a couple more days at least, because they have no plans of. It's only costing us about 3k a day, which isn't too bad as long as we keep it working. I forgot we got that other little tractor parked up as well. Yeah, that little Zeta. That hasn't done much. With the minion on the front. Well, to be honest, if we end up buying that uh, Valter, there's a good chance maybe the Fent or something could go. I don't think we need. Well, well the Fent's one's got more power. I think, well, I was thinking the new Holland's got mock, I'm pretty sure that valve was only a 20 in it. Well, if you carry on going down the store, I'll have a look. Uh, so we've got the Ford, which is 136 horsepower. Yeah. We've got... We haven't got a Landini. Uh, we've got the Fent, which is 209. Yeah, the new Holland and the Valtra the well, are both more than that. Well, the Zeta is only 171. The Fiat Agari is 180. Yeah. And the Valtra is 305. So... And we're tempted to get rid of either the Zeta or the Fent. I would possibly say... The Zeta. Because the... The Fiat Agari has got more horsepower. Yeah, I'm afraid the Ford gets a veto just because of what it is. Plus, the Ford's got a front loader on it. The Ford's staying. Um, no questions. Not you know, we're not having that <laughs> argument. I would say get rid of the Zeta or the yeah the because the Fed's don't forget, got. Don't forget, we own this field to our right as well, which I think has got canola in it. Yeah. Because maybe the... then yeah, maybe the Z2 will go and then because once those bales ferment, if we can get those bales to ferment and sell them when the price is good and sell the Z2, it probably will give us enough to buy the Valtra. Mm. Or to buy field ten if you want another grass, we would do that first. The only reason I do like I said, the only reason I say we keep The we keep the um God that thing's loud behind me. <laughs> Tell me about it. We keep 
the vent is just because it's better horsepower, is all I'm going to say mm. on that. Yeah. Well, this might as well come back to the farm, mightn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you got high top speed than me, so. No point holding you up. 26? Yeah, I'm only doing 24. Yeah, but plus you get probably more quieter now that I'm in front. Because <laughs> this thing is sodding loud. <laughs> Don't know why it's so loud. Because I guess he probably was in real life, because back then there wasn't the same laws on sound and. Silences. Emissions and all that gab, which we won't have any. <laughs> Still need a fun part. Oh yeah, guarantee. I agree. Unless you're going to learn how to mod and make one. Yeah. I've missed a turn, in, but that's fine. <laughs> And he snatches the lead. Unbelievable, Come on, Jeff. Get in gear. You got hazards on, you know. I know. I'm going to say I've got a beacon on this thing. No, why do you think I stopped? Erm... Uh, stopped you getting gear. <laughs> right, so next time we'll need the grass rollers, which I do believe are these ones here. The grass roller... This is 6.30 here, isn't it? This one. Why have we got two rollers? We haven't. What do you mean we haven't? This is a grass roller. This is a field roller, and this is a mulcher. Why have they never been coloured differently? So I think the base game ones don't allow you to. That's an ass. There's a modded one that does. I know because I've got it because I've mowed my grass stuff is green. I thought the... No, you can tell because look, because that one's got the flat rollers on it, whereas this has got the, like, ribbed. Yeah, that is a mulcher. The ribbed one. The grass... No, don't be that. I mean, no, the mulcher's the big one. The grass roll is the one you're looking at, because if you look at this power roll 1230, it's got yeah. small ridges on it. Yeah, well, the, the maxi roll is the grass It's one. flat. Yeah, that's the grass one. But yeah, we'll end up doing that next time. Yep. And back to the house. But yeah, half eight in the morning and we're going home. Of your work ethic. <laughs> well... Oh dear, I love it. So, while well, we're going back to the house, we're going to end this one here. So, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Don't forget you can follow us on Twitch. All links are in the description. And we shall see you next time. So until then. So long, folks. Pickup truck. It's goodbye for now.